The city of Chicago is now looking at having officers ask for permission before chasing down suspects on foot. And if you think that sounds pretty dumb, well, you are absolutely correct. How in the world does that make any sense at all when we're talking about cops doing their jobs? They have to be able to do them, correct? Well, at least in the eyes of Lori Lightfoot, she doesn't think so. So she actually told the media on Wednesday that she is considering instituting a momentous change to Chicago police procedure following the police-involved shooting death of 13-year-old Adam Toledo. This is the uh, Hispanic kid that was out at 3 o'clock in the morning with a handgun. He, w The cops were actually going in pursuit of him because he was firing. He fired an entire clip of a gun into just random cars in traffic or on the road at that time and the cops were trying to figure out who this guy was they pulled him over the cops started chasing after him he turned around with pulled the gun out of his pocket turned around and the cops shot him as he was kind of dropping the gun to the ground it all happened literally in the blink of an eye um so now they're saying that they're going to be requiring that all police department officials or officers receive express permission from a supervisor before engaging in a foot chase. That's something that they're realistically looking at doing. It goes on to say, uh, this is from her quote, no one should die as a result of a foot chase. Lori Lightfoot said, adding that the city plans to unveil the policy change soon. Well, the fact is that people, if they are legitimately turning around with a gun, that's problematic. I mean, this isn't, it wasn't like the guy was just legitimately just running away and then he just got shot because he was running away. That's not actually what happened at all. He pulled a gun out of his pocket. That's what the cops saw and turned around. Okay, yeah, he dropped it while he was turning around, but how is the cop supposed to know he's not just going to do that? I mean, there's a second to make a decision of whether you're going home or not at night. And so she goes on and says that uh, Alderman Brian Hopkins says an, of an official in the mayor's office told him officers could soon be required prior to a foot chase to do what is now required before a vehicle chase getting permission from higher ups okay let, let's play this out let's let's play this out for a second okay if this makes sense let's see how this is gonna work all right uh hey sir i know you're running away from me but if you wouldn't mind just pausing for a second while i call my supervisor that's probably gonna take a few minutes and and see if uh if he's okay with me chasing you right now Okay, officer, let me know when I can start running again. Yeah, that's... What? <laughs> How do they think this makes any sense? They really just don't want co cops to do their job. That's why I said earlier, hey, pull them out of the city then, man. Just get rid of them. Get rid of them and let this community see how many of these issues are their own problems. And that cops are only helping the situation, not making it worse. So uh, she goes on saying... Or, or the, the one of the commentators was actually talking about this. And he said... Of course, that raises some obvious problems. In the time it would take to do that, the person you're supposed to be chasing is likely long gone. The point would be moot then, which, of course, is common sense. It doesn't make sense to actually have that implemented whatsoever. Everything they try to do is to keep cops from doing their job. That's what they want to do. They want to disarm cops. They want to uh, enable them from uh, keeping them or keep them from being able to do what they're supposed to be doing, which is protecting the lives of others. And protecting themselves if necessary. To mitigate crimes. That was the whole goal. We've never had questions over policing for many, many years. And then all of a sudden, they're wanting to get rid of them. Once again, it's not hurting the people that are advocating for these things. Because they have their own security detail. Lori Lightfoot has her own security officers and people that attend to only her. She probably also lives in a very nice, gated community. Far away from any of the suburbs where these things take place the most. So they can sit there all day talking about defund the police, but it's not going to hurt them. Who it does hurt are the actual people in the black community. The more regulations you add, the more you're keeping cops from doing what they need to be able to do. Good or bad or whatever you want to call them. It's kind of like gun regulation, isn't it? You're only disarming and hurting the people that did it the right way, legally. Not the people that are doing it the wrong way. You just watched a clip from the William Hall Show. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.